Hello, this is Andrew from Hexcrafter. Uh, I am presenting this short video on how to properly uh, do fine tuning on our frames, specifically motor alignment. Um, what you see before you is a HC800 Hexacopter. It's a mid-size hex from our company. Um, and I, I need to point out a few things as we're going through the video of tools that typically are used to do this. Um, some people use an iPhone running a level app. Um, you can see it, it, it counting up and down on the left hand side in a bubble. Um, those that don't have smartphone apps can go out and for right around 20 bucks or so buy a digital angle gauge. I actually prefer the digital angle, uh, angle gauge. Um, and I'll use that during this demonstration. The other thing I want to um, show on the video is the the shim packages we sent with uh, each kit. Uh, you can see here this is the 0.1 millimeter, um, 0.2 millimeter, and 0.3 millimeter shims. Uh, these are shipped with every kit as well as a motor shim chart which is also available on our website it basically tells you what size shim to use um, based upon the degree of rotation that you will find in our tests um, so here we go um, basically the process um, is done by putting the gauge on the center of the mainframe aligned with the arm and you can see on on camera that it's fluctuating somewhere between 0.1 and 0.0 so it might be at 0.05 uh, 0.07 but for the purpose of the video as it sits right now in tolerance it's sitting at 0 0.01 0 0.01 is one so if we move it out to where the motor's going to mount you can see it reads 0.5 so we're looking at the differential 0.4 to 0.5 again so we're, we'll take the high end of this and basically say that we believe that um, we're, we're looking at about 4.4 degrees of rotation between the frame and the arm. Um, so this particular style has uh, magnets on the bottom which make it really helpful in uh, indicating what's going on. We'll apply a, a shim um, to the bottom. Of, of it so you can see that the shims there that's a 0 0.2 um, millimeter shim uh, we'll set it back on there and let it calibrate itself and it's at 0 0.2 now let me see if I can get it better on there So you can see now that I have it properly, it's sitting at 0 .00, 0 0.1, doing the exact same thing it did when it was on the center frame. And we also note that the shim is on the right side um, of, of our digital angle gauge. So what we're needing to do here is apply 0.2 millimeter shims to the two right hand bolt holes between the frame and the motor. Uh, in doing that, it will rotate the motor into perfect alignment with the frame and the IMU, um, and you'll see significant um, improvement in your overall modal charts um, from your, your, your flight log data. Um, so that, that's how it's done. Understand that, you know, as you're doing this process, uh, if you're using the same digital angle, angle gauge I have, um, and you're not sure which side to shim, you can stick the shim on the bottom magnet um, and reposition it on there and see whether you need to shim the right side two holes of the motor or the left two sides of the motor. Uh, and of course the shim goes between the bolt which comes up through the motor mount right on top of the motor mount and then the motor goes on and that will cant the motor um, at just the slightest angle to make motor alignment. Um, I do need to stress uh, that we understand on this video what precision we're talking about here um, in that you know until you know we really started looking at our frames and other frames this type of precision uh, really wasn't available. Uh, 0.1 millimeters um, is, is basically 0 0.0039 inches or about three thousandths of an inch and, and that's right about the thickness of a human hair. 
So when we're using a 0.2 millimeter shim, it's two hair thicknesses. Uh, this is how precise we're actually talking about uh, making the motors align. And, and you can actually see the chart differences uh, when you get the motors aligned that closely. Um, you'll see a significant realignment of everything and, and improved um, motor temperatures, ESC temperatures, and flight conditions. Um, we have looked at other frame assemblies and, and tried to play with this. Um, some perform a little better than others with shimming. Some frames just simply aren't uh, rigid enough to really make any difference and that when the motor, um, even if it's aligned at this moment in time, as soon as you bump it, it's immediately out that degree. Um, and or some of the other um, frame assemblies that are using square frames, uh, square arms or, or rectangular arms, um, kind of spin-offs of what we started. Um, they also um, have their challenges as well. Many of them use two bolt holes uh, on the motor mount instead of triangulation um, so that you can actually see the motor mount twist on the bolts. Um, so we've had a little difficulty obtaining perfect motor alignment that stays aligned in that time of frame condition as well. That is why we did use triangulation on all of our uh, arm connections to make certain that there would be no rotation of the arms and the fasteners. So please contact me uh, at hexcrafter.com with any questions, but I think this video explains how it's done. Uh, in a coax situation, if you found that you needed to shim the right side of the top motor, then the lower motor would be shim on the left side um, to make the two motors perfectly aligned with the center plate. And we've done that successfully and seen uh, improvement there as well. Thank you.